Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 260 of the 365 day trivia road trip. Today we're starting the viewer submitted quizzes for the Quizlet challenge. The first one to get us kicked off will be submitted by Jeannie Junkins, just Jeannie, of the Jeannie and Dave who submit a lot of quizzes. You'll get some from just Dave and some more from Jeannie and Dave later. Anyways, good luck. Question number one. There are 56 of them in the human body. Name the two places you would locate your phalanges. The answer is hands and feet, your fingers and toes. Question number two, which country in the world has the greatest number of time zones when you include its non-contiguous territories? Kind of a tricky question here. The country with the most time zones is France, who have 12, 13 if you count their claim on Antarctica. Question number three, in order to conserve space, Ancient Romans trained the plants in their gardens to grow in a vertical, flat plane. What is this called? This method of growing is known as espalier. Question number four. In CPR, the ideal rate of compressions in order to maintain adequate blood perfusion to vital organs is 100 to 120. What popular, appropriately named song is often used during training and recertification? The answer is Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. Question number five. For over 2,000 years, this god of fertility has sang and danced through the southwestern U.S. Wherever what mischievous minstrel travels, joy and abundance follows. That little design is known as the Cocopelli. Question number six. Who has been quoted as saying, Those who can make you believe absurdities can make you commit atrocities. Several people have said it, but Voltaire is who is credited with that quote. Voltaire. Question number seven. Who was the Swiss psychoanalyst that presented the theory of collective unconscious, that all humans are connected to each other and their ancestors through shared experiences? The answer is Carl Jung. Question number eight. What is the legal term meaning a situation in which a judgment in one case prevents or stops a party to that suit from trying to litigate the same issue in another legal action? That is called collateral estoppel. Question number nine, which Shakespearean play contained the line, hell is empty, all the devils are here? That line is from The Tempest. Question number 10, in the Beatitudes from the Sermon on the Mount, what did Jesus say would happen to those that hunger and thirst after righteousness? Depending on which version of the Bible you're reading, this could vary a little, but the answer is, they shall have their fill, or any version of that. Question number 11. In several southern and midwestern states, people fish for large catfish without any poles or equipment. 
What method do they use that involves simply dangling their fingers in the water like bait? They call that kind of fishing noodling. Question number 12. This ultimate survival food was a Canadian and Northwest staple. What is the name of this mixture of tallow, dried meat, and berries, usually made from bison, deer, elk, or moose, that can last for years? That survival food is called pemmican. Question number 13. The westernmost point is what capital and largest city of Senegal that is considered the cultural and commercial center of French-speaking West Africa? That capital of Senegal is Dakar. Question number 14. In The Lord of the Rings, the hobbits were able to use the Buckleberry Ferry to cross what river that was located on the eastern border of the Shire? That river was called Brandywine. Question number 15. What was the name of the host of Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom? from 1963 to 1985. The answer is Richard Marlin Perkins. Question number 16. Also the name of a great American rock band. In Greek mythology, what was the name of the river of hate in the underworld? The answer is Styx, River Styx. Question number 17. In the show Deadwood, Seth Bullard is a mostly righteous lawman in the title gold mining town. In the show Justified, Raylan Givens is a U.S. Marshal. What actor plays both characters? The answer? Timothy Oliphant. Question number 18. Which U.S. Vice President was acquitted of treason? The answer is Aaron Burr, and surprisingly the treason wasn't because he shot Alexander Hamilton. It was a whole other thing. Question number 19, meaning head of the year in Hebrew, what is the name for the Jewish New Year when Jews ask for forgiveness for sins committed and remind themselves not to repeat the same mistakes in the coming year? The answer is Rosh Hashanah. And question 20, based on the true story of 1958's Showa Station, what 2006 Paul Walker film depicted the rapid evacuation of a scientific expedition where they had to abandon their sled dogs? When they returned several months later, six of the eight dogs had survived. That movie was called Eight Below. Besides Fast and the Furious, Too Fast, Too Furious, it was Paul Walker's best movie. That is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. Thank you very much to Just Genie Junkins for submitting the quiz today. I know we've got one from Dave Junkins later, and then I think we have one from Genie and Dave Junkins, a little joint effort there. So. Here's Jeannie with her road trip kit and some celebratory suds. Thank you again, Jeannie. Question 21 for today, the tiebreaker. How many U.S. states form the U.S.-Canadian border? I don't think we've ever had this question, and I got it wrong. 
The answer is 13, but even if you got it wrong, but you were closer than anybody you were playing against, you're going to win the point and break the tie. Congratulations. Thank you for watching. Thank you again to Genie. See you guys tomorrow. We're officially kicking off and starting the viewer-submitted quizzes for the Quizlet Challenge. See you then.